What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode we are bringing war to the Prussians. Um, we have pushed to attack uh, Breslau. They have attempted to try and flank through the east into this gap. We have met them with one army. We're going to destroy them and push them west. And the hope is that uh, that causes them to start drawing some of these armies um, that are sat here eastward. We do want to take Breslau. They build a garrison force to hold it while we threaten Prague and Dresden. Uh, but anyway, for the time being, this is our objective. To destroy this force and hopefully kill the Field Marshal of Europe. So let us engage. We are going to want to fight somewhat defensively because they have a lot of cavalry. So we want them to advance into our lines which when, and we can destroy um, their forces with our squares and musketry. And we are still waiting for Quickline to be um, discovered. But once that happens, we're going to be in a really good place. And we're going to be able to do lots of damage. And we're going to want to uh, recruit more howitzers for all of our armies. It also means that the garrisons will be able to do a much better job. One second. Okay, nice flat ground. We're going to want our artillery in the line on this one. So let's put you in. Four units of line. I mean, my default option is, yeah. Four units of line in the centre. Split my guns up. And then split my line up either side of that. The idea is I'd make a, light, a nice wide line which I can fold the flanks in quickly that's generally my preference but then again it works in single player might not work in multiplayer I wouldn't know that's not my not really my jam so how it's going to be on carcass shot because we're going to want to focus on their um, infantry formations or their cavalry formations whichever makes the generally it's Focusing on the infantry, particularly their more elite infantry formations. Sometimes I go for their cavalry. Okay, so it looks like we can fold the left flank up. The cavalry is advancing, so we want to run quickly. You push up. You guys all form square. Push my conscripts up. Where's my general? I want my general over here as well. Your Freikorps, they are ranged cavalry. Force Grenadier Guards are going to come in. Oh no, they're going to dismount. They're going to be blasted by canister shot at close range. Yeah, Freikorps are ranged cavalry. They, they are not likely to charge in. Once the cavalry force collapses, their infantry will be ripe for the plucking. And then when their infantry retreats, that's when we want to make sure we are attacking. Here are Sierra have been wiped out. Let's give my howitzers more targets. Yeah, they're flank they're pushing into my right flank. Squares are fine. I don't need to deploy my cavalry yet. Okay, they're now relocating. Let's advance and try and take some of the ground. My regiment of horse engage the Grenadier Guards. Let's see if we can break them. Cavalry still alive and kicking, but they, they're, just, they're just about to run into another cavalry, their infantry formation. Send my conscripts in to provide some help. And 
advance these infantry units up. I want them to focus on the Grenadiers. Excellent. Get my regiment of horse out of the way. Get my conscripts up. They can afford to take a bit of a bashing. Keep my cavalry pushing. Cavalry on the right is dealt with. start to push forward we've got our first infantry unit that's looking to rout make sure my howitzers are all engaging appropriately 12 pounders start to engage the swiss grenadiers at range swing this cavalry in against the grenadier guards This infantry can advance up in front of the line. Yeah, the Grenadiers will go down soon. Now, there's enemy, the enemy artillery is wandering around. Okay, all right. Let's send these guys in to face the center. Maybe you men advance up towards the reinforcements coming in. Come on, there's only a handful of Grenadier Guards left to kill. Do something similar here. Advance our line past that infantry unit. So my general can get them. My regiment of horse go for the Grenadier Guards. Okay, come on. Oh, there's all their light infantry. Switch to round shot and engage. Excellent. Make sure all my artillery is attacking the new threat to the rear. Okay, right. Make sure you... My artillery is firing round shot, which means they'll start to lob their shots. So you can push in like this. You can push up like so. We can take losses from our cavalry. We can take losses from our cavalry as long as they wipe out their infantry. Their engineers are going to try and flank us. How it says to lob shots in against their line infantry. These musketeers are going to break uh, break soon. There they go. Excellent. Okay, let's start to push up our line in a bit of a rough shod way, but push it up nonetheless. Scripts hold behind. Okay, everyone's now pummeling these troops in the center. So we're trading blows with them with our with our line infantry, but that will get better. We really want to make sure we knock out. There's so much of this infantry is all elite infantry. These blunderbuss shotgunners have made a bit of a faux pas. Conscripts get into line and start shooting. One of our line units is wavering because they're under a lot of fire. That will get better as our line solidifies. Okay, not very efficient, but everyone just set up. The blunder shotgunners were originally not what we were after. Kill the last of those grenadiers. You kill the last of we'll kill those grenadiers. Kill that, that single grenadier. Okay, 
excellent. So now you run over here, try get around the flank here. You men push up. Artillery is going to keep harassing the foot guards. Push my infantry around the flank into the 25th. Field Marshal of Europe. Kill him. Kill him now. The General's bodyguard is going to try and ignore him. Excellent. Right. Let's take this as a bit of an opportunity to spread my line out a bit more efficiently. You fellows. She hit the engineers because they are strung out and a bit exposed. Skirmishers are trying to engage our infantry. We're trying to engage my general, my, my uh, cavalry, I think. Let's hit their blunderbuss shotgunners, because their infantry's come back. My cavalry's going to try to charge their engineers. So we're now squaring up to their engineers in the centre. Lots of these are light infantry units, and they will break. Yeah, we got their um, blunderbuss shotgunners. Cavalry charge the, the engineers. General, get Brycor. Yeah, getting weird sound effects in here. Cutting down the foot guards. Field Marshal is being whittled down. Keep hacking down the engineers. Ah, oh, new swine. Break. There's only 55 of you. Field Marshal, oh, he was wavering for a second. See, they are worthwhile getting. They do hold on a lot more vigorously than General's Bodyguard units. They actually chase down this line infantry unit because it's routing. I'll redirect my artillery to get the foot guards. Actually, they're, actually they're, they're in range to get my infantry to be gotten at by my infantry anyway. Still going. The field marshal's in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. The grenadiers would be a very good get as well. And everyone's against the guerrilla mercenaries who are wavering. I mean, once those grenadiers have got past the spike defenses, that would be. They would also be a good. Yeah, they'd be good to, to try and kill. But all my cavalry's committed. 11. 11 cavalrymen left. The generals come back. The field marshals come back into the melee. Come on. Where's the field marshal? Got him. Yeah, we want to continue. Go for the engineers. Excellent. General's bodyguard. 
Steamboat in, go for the engineers. Excellent. So these are going to be... That's just line infantry. Engineers, they're not as good as it. They're not super good shooters, but they're good in the melee. There we go. 14 line infantry. They should go down quick. Okay, try go for those guerrilla mercenaries. We're going to kill these last four infantry. Uh, those, um... Grenadiers are going to get away, but they've already lost a lot of their number anyway. We've killed a handful more. Done a lot of damage to these irregulars, but hopefully that should be an incredibly decisive win for us um, in Europe. And we need a few more of those against individual Russian armies. And then we'll have broken their strength. I mean, look at that. We've lost 783 men. They lost 2,628. So then you men replenish. We need to always be concerned about the Prussians. The, um, the, not the Prussians. The Polish declaring war on us and breaking out here to the east. Always need to be concerned about that. So I think I may end up. And Austria's going to keep recruiting troops. And I'm going to slowly... I mean, eventually I could move this army out. Let's try to fight them off. Although really, you are now... You are fighting against... Well, you, you've got Breslau. Dario Posamato. I may attack oh, the Oda farmland clearances. Walter is all that. Yeah, I shouldn't have water resolved that. I say that far too often. Okay, let's combine some of our weaker units. Because at least it was an army destroyed. Then you hold where you are and replenish. Although, actually, you could... We could try and dispatch reinforcements. Although, what you could really do with some elite infantry. Which you could get from Vienna. But we're not recruiting elite infantry. We need mass. I mean, I'll probably send some of these elite conscripts out to Oda Farmland. So I need to send one unit of line. Pull out. Non possiamo, signore. Chiedo venia, signore. In attesa di ordine. There we go. Sì. So you stay here, raiding that raiding that um, road, and we'll send a cavalry out to raid the coaching in, just to make them a, try and make them a little bit more upset. That should have worked in making them trigger. Triggering response from the Prussians, especially well, having any rakes in this region, but I'd like to see how they're doing economically. Um, we still have the Spanish army landing in Naples, but we should have my reinforcements coming in, and this army may be primed to land on Tunis. Which actually, let's send this rake over to Tunis to get eyes on there. Take Tunis and then push back. If I take took Tunis and then tried to make peace with Spain, just to make them get off our back, that could be quite useful. Elsewhere in the east, we're okay. You've beaten the Ottomans and they're falling back in small numbers. We've got some rebels here in Ankara, but we're okay. The garrison at Istanbul is replenishing. I mean, things are pretty good. Five turns to a quick climb. Let's hit end turn. The main thing is, I just need to keep doing damage. Okay, so, they're attacking the city of Naples, and I do have my full reinforcement complement. So let's make sure my artillery are coming in first, here. Make sure my super cavalry are coming in. Cool. They've got a very weak army, lots of militia. Let's fight. 
my line infantry might be actually good enough to do it. But the main reason why I don't trust the garrison is because it's randomly generated every time and you don't really see what you get. You, know, you can't guarantee you're going to get X amount of line infantry, X amount of militia, X amount of armed citizenry. You can't really ever be sure about what you're going to get. So that's why I really don't like relying on the garrison. I want to have a core of recruited infantry. And then the garrison is a, is a bonus. I mean, this is a pretty good garrison, actually. They're going to struggle to get through this. So my, so my, armed, in, my um, armed citizenry around the flank. One unit of Sakers. My own cavalry and artillery are coming in. 225. So this is the direct result of a of a bugged unit. They you should not have 225 cuirassier. Just try to get up onto the hill. So my mortars, are, let, let them fire at whoever they want to fire at. It looks like they're going after their artillery, which well, probably not, not a terrible idea, but not a great one either. Get my general up here to take command of the defense. Actually, my guns can try and get over here. This Desert Warrior unit is going to be the first to fall. Make ready. Fire! Oh, there they Here come the shots. Wavering immediately. The morale on these units is not super good. That's then pushed back. My heavy cavalry is arriving on location. So this cavalry is their job's gonna be the um, artillery up on the hill. In which case then let's give my mortars just other targets. Citizenry is already wavering. These Curiosier are going to be battle winning enemy, battle winning elements. Pivot my infantry, fire into the flank. Grossier. Engage the militia warriors. The desert warriors. Bad times for these guys. 225. Grossier. Kill a bunch, as many of them as you can, and steamboat straight on into the Amazons. the line infantry up. Kill plenty of them. Kill the gunners. Just yeah, kill the general's bodyguard. Kill the last of the gun crews because they're right here. Where's my general? General's bodyguard. Get them after the militia warriors. Fire well off for my infantry here because 
These guys are just gonna do loads of damage. There we go. Uh, one gun is gonna get away. Kill the Amazons, don't let them get away. My arm citizenry up on the hill. Now oh, we're going through these militia. They're losing men fast. Then go after the regiment of militia. Push these guys up, fire it will arm. Cursier, go for the general. Another just brilliant charge. <laughs> I mean, I've lost a lot of Cursier from this unit, but we've done so much damage, it's great. Right, she may as well chase them down and kill them now. Hey, who, what are you doing coming back? So these Amazons are only being engaged by my um, citizenry. enough Actually, let's get you guys back so you may go after the colonial militia charging uphill against an enemy that hasn't routed lots of issues with that um, however we don't care victory shall be ours push forward Kill, kill, kill. Let's laugh for the Desert Warriors. There we go. Broke the militia. Artillery ceasefire. Keep fighting because these are the invader. Charge that unit of. Actually, no, it's easier if he, if he just stays out of the way, to be honest. Crush, kill, destroy. They are going to get away. It's colonial militia, yeah, they're going to get away. Okay, let's try to hit this unit of Amazons. You may try chase after those desert warriors. Is this all you can get from Spain? Dear, oh dear. The Amazons are getting annihilated. Damn right it's a decisive victory. This is a force we want to beef up and then hopefully send to Tunisia teach them a lesson. They retreated into the Italian heartlands, but let's see if Italy can help actually defend them. More technology stealing is on the way, although they are now sending more. Okay. Counter offer. I mean, I, want, I don't need it, but I might give it to them. Just to try to see if it can make us a bit more friendly. From the um, from a relations standpoint, oh, you better run. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need to march out and start doing some damage to these possible raiders. I mean, if we can take Baghdad, we can probably get a peace agreement with um, or the Ottomans. But I think I'd rather like the idea of, well, I need to take both their armies, really. I need to take them both out. And I don't like the fact that Bavaria is running around. And I don't like the fact that Georgia ran some troops into a port. Although we do, we do have a navy now. We can go get them. Actually, I might go get them. We are, we're at war with Georgia, so it's not going to add anything new. We're not going to cause more problems for ourselves. But yeah, now it's four turns to quick climb. And every turn that gets closer is a turn to our advantage. So we've got a couple of units that have been raided. So what are you? You're actually a decent little infantry force. You are a decent little cavalry force. So if I just send a block of infantry out plus a couple of cavalry units, I can just deal with you. Hurrah! Hurrah! Senor and then I can send this infantry out to go attack these Anatolian rebels. I probably want to fight that one, just to make sure. We might not kill the rebels, but we'll do a lot of damage to them. Then we can pull our um, well, our, our other force that attacked the Ottoman raiders. We'll be back in the capital, so we're not. It's not as if we're going to leave it, um, make it vulnerable. Let's see the artillery. Very valuable. Infantry warm up. It's the artillery folks on the Royal Janissary Infantry Guards. We do have some, there is some hidden units somewhere. Oh, good. building occupied. I thought that was thought we killed their general. Oh, that'd be super. Pelayin are making a beeline for the captured building. That's generally what the AI does. They do love fighting over buildings. Okay, this isn't their, all of their force. Some of their units are hidden. Forty sixth, sixty sixth, forty seventh, sixty fifth. So they're being engaged. Ah, oh, within canister range. Yeah, there's one of their other units. Too late now. You've advanced. You've advanced incomplete. Guys with canister shot. Well, they end up getting hit and they've been routed. Excellent. Keep focusing on the Janissary Guard. Especially before the other one turns up. Focus fire on them and get them destroyed. I mean, this is they have a, their general isn't here. This hit is that chap. Bellina returns. Max 
excellent. They're wavering. Broken. See if you can shatter them before they get out of range. Be super. Switch to round shot. Pound the Israeli because they're they are confident apparently. again. Hundred ninety two, hundred and eighty five. So maybe focus on yeah, focus on the infantry guards in the centre because they seem to be massing. We've got a good defensive position set up. I could have got some collateral damage here. They hit this and then hit the Israeli behind. Israeli are wavering. Oh, here they come. We've lost the Israeli. These are advanced to close range. That wasn't a brilliant idea. Oh, my Italians have almost finished reloading. There they go. general after the infantry guards they are the scarier units everything else is well it's, it's, it's a pretty manageable force in general but why not go for their best unit they come back or when they come back because I don't think we've done enough to make them disappear if we have that'd be super These guys have spread out. They are going to escape, as are the Israeli. Still, that's one infantry unit killed. Can't complain about that, that's for sure. Decisive victory. Hopefully they disappear, but I don't think they will. Hey, that's pretty good. Back to Ankara you go. Okay, so you chaps replenish. Two agents, two priests in here. We've got a priest in Damascus. Let's send a priest over to Yerevan. Because they don't oh they have a um a priest there. Okay, let's send them over to Baghdad. Ooh, the infantry garrison here can actually hit those guys. Alright, hit them. Abbiamo vinto! All'istante! Hit them and then withdraw. With a couple more militia. You are going to advance towards Baghdad, but you're going to advance across the desert. So it's going to take longer. But if we keep the speed up, they will have to react to us. Rather than vice versa. Okay, so we've got some stuff that's been built. You're replenishing, but you're you're in good enough strength to attack them. Let's pull these militia units out. Push you guys in. Got lots of so we, we recently got farm upgrades, which we could get. The economy's been damaged, that's unfortunate, but we're fixing that and we'll fix the mine. Let's also get uh, one of my ships. Oh, actually, let's repair the shipyard, get Ankara to build a colonial militia to hold Antalya. 
like I said, we should go get those Georgians because I imagine they are going to go pick up these troops. So let's take our navy, less the sixth rate. I'm going to attack these Georgians. And we're not going to take the ships into the fleet. We're going to cash them in. We're going to cash them in and use them to help uh, help with our repairs. Because I think, yeah, they are going. To, they are trying to combine their armies together, which we don't want to do. We don't want to let them do. Kind of like that. I mean, yeah, this sloop, just go away. Do not come into the fight. Yeah, privateer, a couple of sixth rates, and a brig somewhere. Oh, sloop, sloop of war. Yeah, we do not want our light galley in on this. Privateer is going to cut ahead of us, but that's not terrible. No, actually, no, they are going to make us. Oh, no, they aren't. Okay, right. You reload your broadside. You guys keep sailing on ahead. Something like this. Privateer is fast. Position to hit this sixth rate with a bunch of chain in our masts. Ooh. I see if we can slow you down some. Send some of these smaller ships down like so. Fire round shot. You guys try to get up behind them. Stay where you are. Actually, you might pummel into this sixth rate. Pummel your shots into this sixth rate. The six three, okay, pivot. Okay, then drop anchor. Let me park up here behind their fleet, same with you. Straight surrendered. Full speed.
highly dynamic fighting environment. Surrendered again. That's going to cut down the Sloop of War's route of escape. You all chase down the brig. Again, Sleep of Wars lost her mainmast. Excellent, she's gone. Now, everybody, get ahead of that privateer. take all of you guys engage the privateer these two ships I'm going to try and more explicitly micro or maybe just the one to be honest it's problematic otherwise she's just within range Excellent cut in. Try with a, a whiff of chain shot. Do you know, round shot, because she's gonna roll in. She could have cut through the gap. That could have been quite nasty. But even so. Not want to take any of them into the fleet. Cash them all in. Can't raid the port. Let's put into Izmir for repairs. You've sorted that out. Ooh, Neil is a new town. Okay. We will scout. So, Prague is defended. Could do with taking Breslau, then fortify. Well, Breslau is fortified, but garrison it. I could probably do with attacking this force here. Because again, it's a small force. We can wipe them out, and then we can chase them down and destroy them. We can prevent them from joining with the rest of the force. Because lots of these small actions do matter. Um, just keep the pressure up. Keep attacking these smaller armies wherever they wherever they present themselves um, engulf them and destroy them because then that's a handful of very good units that are now no longer available to the enemy especially when this force is already um, damaged and won't be available for any full proper battles until they are replenished So the objective for all of my artillery is that cavalry unit. Hit the Bosniaks first. Destroy their maneuver element, then we can surround and destroy them at a, at a time and place of our choosing.
If we can knock out their cavalry, we can just surround these guys. I mean, they've left an infantry unit at the back. Because really, we don't want to... Okay, that's right, waver. Waver, you dogs. It's unfortunate they're not bringing up the foot guards. But if we can demolish the Swiss Grenadiers and line infantry guards, those are good outcomes. You know, our artillery is doing a superb job. I mean, these are a special unit, so... Is this a good idea? No, it's not a good idea. That's right, you better run. Awesome. So when we make their infantry route, we can make them route in the direction we want them to. So my foot artillery focus on the engineers at the back. Howitzers can drop shots onto the Swiss Grenadiers. Sixth guards. Uh, the terrain's a bit dicey. The Bosniaks have returned. Put artillery re engage. my strongest cavalry unit is a bit of a breakwater charge the regiment of militia they'd already routed before We should be able to make them break again. There you go, the Bosniaks have broken from our artillery. Bring the cavalry in. Artillery is upsetting the Swiss Grenadiers really well. Excellent. How it says retarget the line infantry guards. Run our line up to surround them. Excellent. Friendly fire there. How it says cease fire. Bring a cavalry unit across. Playing this on fast board mode. Go. Bring our infantry up towards the guards. Line infantry guards are dealt with. Wood artillery. Oh no, they can't engage the, the uh, engineers. Sweet. Okay, you guys. Ah, oh, they've split up. More cavalry equals better pathfinding. So they can mop up all of the guys down there until there's only two left. There's another Grenadier somewhere running around. Ah, oh, he's over here. It might get him.
Yeah, they're done. They're done for. Cavalry, other cavalry, advance. You, you will commit. We will make you. Ah, the Marines. Ah, the Grenadiers escaped with one Grenadier left. There we go. Now those en engineers are under fire from two directions. They're in my infantry set up on the hill. Ah, oh, they're going to go try create. They're trying to place stakes. They're going to bayonet charge into our lines. Go join them in the bayonet, bayonet attack. They're going to route through my lines. It's the best direction for them to run. Then right, we're going to continue. Actually, my infantry could have got them. Nice. Yeah, this army was already going to be out of action for a while, so it's still something useful they can get involved in. That's that one Swiss Grenadier unit that's managed to flee. Oh no, that's the Bosniaks. Good, all the infantry's destroyed. Awesome. You men come back. Reinforce. I mean, I'm content to let these guys just kind of rot behind walls, because it's, it's cheaper for me to do let them do that. But what I could probably do with Hungary, start recruiting a few more howitzers and start to spit out some more elite units. Rather than just having loads of line infantry, I should recruit some elites to try and hold off their forces. Venice is one turn away from being fortified. You can get some grenadiers to help protect you. That leaves us with 10,000. Could upgrade a port. A super port. But I think. Have I got any cheap ports to upgrade? Yes. 5,000. 5,000. Actually, I'll upgrade one port and then I'll start to upgrade some farmland. Particularly in areas that are a bit safer. And actually, I need to reorganize you guys. Go attack the last holdouts of this Spanish army. Nice. You guys are going to suck up all the money to be replenished. You guys have got super artillery regiments with hundreds of men. Nice. Um, I mean, it would be nice if. We are going to have to attack them. Let's put my galley into Sapaki just to raid the dock. Horatio Salazar, plus a, he's, that's more of an elite infantry corps over there of a future army. But it's not something that would trouble us particularly much. I can put one of these light galleys into Antalya. Excellent. This light galley, can you go down to here? $18. Could do repairing some of these, really. Although you're nearly 100% Catholic. Belgrade is getting that way. Ankara's slowly becoming more Catholic. 18 turns to get an Adrianople. I mean, Istanbul might be might be might be a um, candidate for another university here because our public order is pretty good. It will slowly get better and better as we well, if we upgrade. Actually, the seminary is already providing us some good religious happiness. 
certainly an option. Let's hit and turn and see how the enemy responds. Hmm. Bane could be a problem in the longer term, so that's why we probably want to bring battle to them. Are they going to try and reinforce Breslau? Doesn't look like it. <gasps> oh, do I want to intercept? And the answer is going to certainly be yes. Let's make sure the very last thing I bring in are conscripts and artillery. I mean, even cavalry is better than that. Although, barely, I probably want my cavalry to be like that. And then this force is just all militia. Um, but yes, I am going to want to lure them in. Especially because they've got lots of cavalry to charge. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next, next time, where hopefully we can do a lot of damage to a couple of Prussian armies. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>